Alright guys, to create a cyborg animal, first you need to select a good image. I think insects, um, reptiles, amphibians, anything that's got segments to it. I think picking something really fluffy like a kitty cat is a lot harder. Because when I look at this image, I've got a shape there. I can find a shape there. I've got lots of different shapes. And that helps me, especially if um, this seems like a challenge to you. You want segments and things. Um, First thing you need to do, find your image, make sure it's a high quality image. Collect, like, collect chrome, look up motorcycle parts, look up robot parts, look up things, grab some images of different things. And then um, some tricks when you're picking out things. If you find things with a white background, all you gotta do is duplicate your layer. Hit OK. I'm gonna turn off this eyeball. If it's all white, I can go to the eraser and then to the magic eraser tool. Click on the white and it will automatically delete the whole background. If I want just this circle, there's a guy in that one. If I want just this piece right here, I can go to the um, lasso and just carefully trace around it. And that is selected. I can move that shape and that shape only over to my picture. Make it a little bigger. And then figure out what I want to do with it. I think I want to replace it right there. And right now that looks like a good size. Every couple things you do with this project, you need to save it as a Photoshop pile. You do want to keep your layers in case, you know, I might find something else better for that place right there. Um, if I want to shape this thing exactly, I'm going to go grab a piece of chrome. This project specifically is really good to use the freeform lasso because it allows me to draw a random shape. Polygonal, let me draw something where it's just straight lines. So let's say I want this piece of chrome. You don't have to use the pen tool to get your shapes that you want. Moving tool, I move this over. Place it where I want it. I'm going to zoom in on it. Again, this is the more details you can add to this, the better it's going to be. Turn it off for a minute. This is where, if you're good with this, you could use your lassos. I don't think it's a big deal to use the pen tool on this. It's quick as anything for a little section. Get my shape outlined. Kind of split right through the black there. Double check I did the right one. Before you select this, you have to have your chrome where you want it. So I want that right there. Go back to the pen tool, right click, make selection. I'm going to put this on one because it's pretty detailed. I don't need it too fuzzy. At this point, it's a selection. If I do control J, that's layer via copy, control J. And I should be able to throw away layer two and have a piece of chrome shaped perfectly to that area. Lots of details going in there. I'm going to chrome that out for you and then come back. Okay, so I added some chrome to the different lip areas. If I want to make these stand out a little bit more, this is where this becomes a very detailed and not rushed kind of project. You can go to my layers, layer three, and I could play with like some of these here. I like the bevel and emboss. It makes it a little more three-dimensional. It puts a little shadow over here. Play with the size. The depth of it. And just see what you like. So I might add something to each of these just to make them have a little something extra special. So they definitely look segmented and 3D, not flat. There's not a right or wrong to this part. It's just, just playing and finding something that you like that you think looks creative and cool. So I'm going to do that to each of these. Once I know, like, these are not going to move, these are going to be exactly where I want them. If I did Control-E to merge down, watch carefully, 
it changes my picture. That whole thing changed all of it. Control E, it changes. So I can't just merge these like that. The easiest way I think to do it is to turn off, make only visible what you want to merge. So eyeballs are on and all that. Go up to layer, merge visible. I don't have any more layer effects, but they stayed and they didn't change into something weird. So I know this section is going to stay because I cut it specifically for that. I had this earlier, this thing over here. I don't know yet that that's where that's going. So as you get things set perfectly, you do want to merge them. And as you have pieces that you think are interesting, but you're not sure where to put them, don't merge it yet. Um, the only other thing I want to show you in this tutorial is playing with some cool eye stuff. And I don't necessarily have a plan for this. I just think this might be neat around the eye. I'm going to duplicate it. Turn off the bottom one. Again, this looks like it's got a white background. I mean, I have to cut out everything. Drag it over. It's a lot of trial and error to find out what's going to look pretty cool. I think having this thing and then his eye being in this area would look neat. I need to be able to line this up better. So I'm going to change the opacity. And this is where this project is really great because it's forcing you to do a lot of the stuff we've done in Photoshop. Change the scale of this a little bit. I need it to be longer. I don't need it to fit his eye perfect. I just need... this area to kind of lead into it. I'm going to turn this back up. Zoom in so I have lots of control. And I think I'm just going to erase this. Not sure how it's going to look. But again, trial and error. I get something else going over here in a little bit. Um, something new that might help blend some stuff, like that has a pretty raw edge. Let's see where it is. Right here. I call it the lollipop. You've got the dodge and the burn. These are black and white developing techniques. Ah. Dodge will make something lighter, burn will make something darker. You'd want it on the fuzzy, put on 100% exposure on the layer I want. As I click with this, and the chrome is already, it's kind of white, so it'd be hard to blend this. But it'll darken my area for me, which might help blend it in a little bit more since his eye was dark. So it's burning that. I can also, I need to save this before I do it. File, save as, this is going to be my name, Cyborg, Photoshop. When you use um, Liquify, it will lock up your computer pretty quick. Liquify, filter, Liquify. You needed to know ahead of time what you were going to Liquify. I just wanted to curl this a little bit more. Can I see my computer screen now? Let's pull that. CS6, you got warp. You have a lot of other things that are going to work better, but we don't, so. So that just curled that down a little bit more. I could pull it down just a fraction more even. So I'm going to go back, filter, liquefy. And i got to zoom out. Alright, that's better. I am going to erase a little bit of it. And then I need to figure out what of this I'm actually keeping. I know I don't want this. So for now, I'll keep that whole section. I don't know what I'll end up doing with it, but I'm just slowly starting to piece things in. And that is how you create the cyborg project. Good luck, guys.